If you thought creating a Shopify store was easy, creating a WooCommerce store is even easier. The free version of WooCommerce is very easy to install via the WordPress dashboard. What you want to do is log in, click on plugins and then add new. And then where it says search plugins, you type in WooCommerce. And then enter. And you can see it shows it here, WooCommerce by Woo Themes. And then you simply click here where it says install now. And then click where it says activate plugin. It takes you through to this page and this is the setup page. You can actually skip the setup if you want, although it's a good idea to just simply click here on let's go and then follow the instructions. And it takes you through to this page, the page setup. And this is where WooCommerce will add four pages to your WordPress site in order for it to work properly. And let me scroll down a bit here. Those pages are shop, and this is the shop page where you'll display your products. Cart, this is the uh, shopping cart page. Checkout, pretty uh, self-explanatory. And my account, and this is where registered customers will be able to manage their account details and view past orders. And it says here at the bottom, once created, these pages can be managed from your admin dashboard. So let's click here on continue. Then you want to have your store locale set up. And this is going to vary, obviously, depending on where you are in the world. They want to know where your store is based, uh, the currency that you're going to use, uh, which units should be used for product weights, and which units should be used for product dimensions. And it'll probably take this from your IP address uh, from where your hosting is. So, of course, if your hosting is in a different country to where you are uh, actually based, you might need to change these, but it's quite simple. You can just simply change them from the drop-down menu here and so on. And if you deal in a different currency, you can uh, change it here. Again, all sorts of different currencies that you've got here. So it's fully customizable. I'm going to leave all these at the default settings and click here on Continue. Now it wants to know about shipping and tax. Now, if you're selling a physical product, then yes, you want to check this box that says, yes, I will be shipping physical goods to customers. And if you're going to be charging sales tax, you want to check this box here. Yes, I will be charging sales tax. Obviously, this depends on where you are. Uh, in countries in the EU, there are thresholds as to whether or not you have to charge VAT. Um, so if you're not reaching that threshold, then you don't need to charge VAT, so you can leave this box unchecked. If you're in the US and you have to charge a sales tax based on your location, on uh, the state that you live in, or the town or city, then obviously you would need to check this box as well. So let's just check this box, yes. And then you want to know how you're going to enter the product prices, whether they're going to be inclusive of tax or exclusive of tax. Uh, in the UK and most EU countries, the prices are inclusive of tax. So I'm going to check that radio button. Um, in the US, of course, most prices are exclusive of tax. So you need to keep this radio button checked. Then they'll want to know your country, uh, state if you're in the US or Australia, and the tax rate. And as you can see here in the UK, our VAT rate is an eye-watering 20%. So that's all set up. So I'm now going to click here on continue. Next step is to set up payments. And it comes with a couple pre-installed, PayPal and Stripe. But you can also take additional payment methods, although there is an extra charge for the extra plugin. Um, 
You can take PayPal, check payments, BAX transfer or cash on delivery. I suspect most people who uh, are watching this video will probably want to accept PayPal. So let's check that. Now you want to enter your PayPal email address in here and then click on here for continue. And once that's done, um, you can choose whether or not you want uh, WooCommerce to collect non-sensitive diagnostic data and usage information. Uh, I'm going to click no thanks. And then that's it. You can create your first product by clicking on this button here. When you go back to the WordPress dashboard, you'll find that there's now a couple of extra tabs here at the side. You've got your WooCommerce tab where you've got your orders, coupons, reports, settings, system status and add-ons. And you've also got your products. You can add a product, categories, tags, etc. If I click on add a product, you can see that the page and the procedure are very similar to the uh, Shopify sales page and add a product etc that we looked at in the last video. One of the great things about WooCommerce is that they do come with a lot of support and if you go to support.woothemes.com it takes you through to this page here. Uh, there's a knowledge base. You can search for answers if you're having a problem. It also has uh, a very extensive video tutorial series that you can access from within this page. You've got documentation. There's quite a strong um, community because it is very well used. And also you've got things like troubleshooting tips and a whole lot of other stuff as well and it's well worth a visit to this site because it can provide you with an awful lot of information.